Good afternoon, Facebook Live. Um, this is Claire at Lazarus Training. Um, Alice is actually at the office today, so you've got myself and I've got one of our trainers, Samantha, with me as well. And we're going to demonstrate choking. Um, you may have seen yesterday on Facebook, we actually put a recall or shared a recall um, from a famous outlet that recalled some toys due to people choking on them. So we thought it'd be a good opportunity with the summer holidays coming up to show you how to deal with someone who's choking. So Samantha here has got our um, uh, what we call one of our choking vests on, which we use on our training scenarios. Um, so, how do we deal with someone who's choking? So, Samantha, if you pretend you're choking for me. Okay, so signs and symptoms of someone choking. Uh, they may be grasp, uh, grabbing at their throat, trying to gasp for breath, coughing, spluttering, going red in the face. Um, so, what we need to do is help them. And most people know that you slap them on the back. So, if I just turn Samantha around. Okay, we are going to slap them on the back, but we need to lean her forward. So, sense of gravity, the object will come flying out. I mean, we need to do some firm back blows onto her back. So I'm supporting her, so she's not going to go flying forward. And I'm going to give her a firm back blow. And I'm going to check that it's not come out. If the object comes out, that's great. But if it doesn't, I'm going to continue. And I'm going to do a maximum of five back blows. So I've done one, so two, three, four, five. Checking in between each one whether the object has cleared. If it hasn't, I'm going to move on to what we call abdominal thrust. So I'm going to stand behind the casualty, Samantha in this case, make a fist with my hand and come round and I'm going to place it um, above the belly button but below the rib cage in the soft part there, place the fist with my second hand round and I'm going to pull inwards and an upwards motion, pushing in to force the object out. Okay, hopefully the object would clear, if it doesn't we would repeat that again for five times and again if it's still the object doesn't clear I would then go back to back slats and we would keep repeating that. Um, until the object just clears. Okay, um, that's sort of all I've got to tell you today about choking. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, and I don't.